This segment of the Sweet Pete's Show is brought to you by Hamburger Mary's Jacksonville. Damien's been our sign waiver. I mean, I think he's only missed one season with us. Um, nice kid, bundle of energy, like she's a dance machine, and we get so much, so much positive feedback about Damien and his moves. Damien is the craziest sign waver I've ever seen. Like, if there was the world championships of sign waving, he should be entered into it because this guy does not ever quit. He's jumping up and down, waving, waving, uh, just really takes it seriously, dancing around, and uh, you would not believe how many people come in and said they saw our sign waiver and decided to, that they had to see this place. So anyway, but uh, yeah, I kind of figured we'd try something new today. Yeah, you know, go to the landing, you can give out those cards. You sure about that? I was just said we're supposed to go to Main Estate. Well, you know Allison, she, she always, you know, she's not that innovative, you know? We gotta, we gotta try new things, you know? New things to, um, right, you know? In the doghouse, and you said we're supposed to go to Main I know, but you're so charismatic. So we've done State and Main for three years, effective sign waving. Um, and somebody had just called looking for the sign waiver, saying they didn't see the sign waiver. So I was already a little concerned because Damien's usually pretty reliable. He stays where you put him. But, um, so I wasn't sure what was going on. You know, you, people, you know, might be walking around the landing, you know. Okay. Yeah, you got your, just let, just you let, got your smile. Just, just, you're, you're doing your dance moves. Just and, let Allison know. No, don't tell Allison. <laughs> Not right. tell Allison. Whatever Let's you go do. Sour. Whatever you do. Let Allison know that I was going to stay in Maine. You tell Allison. I was trying to go if to things don't work out, you tell Allison. Guess who's in trouble? You know, I thought we always drop off our sign wherever at the same spot. State in Maine. State in Maine. What a great address, right? You figure you should be at State in Maine. Well, I'm like, Hey, let's try something different. And uh, so we went to this place called The Landing, which is in and around uh, St. John's River. It's really nice. And it's around lunchtime, I believe. So I'm like, well, why don't we try to get that lunch traffic and give them these little cards that says, come on in and buy your strawberries. One thing I'm trying to get across though, I'm not sure about this uh, this landing deal. You know, Allison finds out. <laughs> I thought we were in agreement. That, that we're in agreement. We're in agreement, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm not gonna make any promises. If it's dead out here, I'm gonna give y'all a call and let y'all know that I'm gonna go to another spot and ask, ask you if you pick up the phone or whoever. Just don't call Allison. <laughs> All right, don't call me. Why would you put them at the landing? There's a, where there's a rotary and you've got, I don't know, these basically what, a, what amounts to a road full of potholes the way they have this, these cobblestones that knock the wheels off your car so nobody's driving by this place. And why would you put a sign waiver there? And then I get a call from Damien that he needs to get a ride or leave to go to a different place because Damien had put him in front of the landing. And so Damien was calling to say, there are no cars here. I'm waving to no one. Hey, Allison, this is Damien. Um, I'm over here at the landing and it's pretty dead out here. Uh, I just really uh, was wondering, would you want me to move from around here? Because the traffic is coming, but it's not coming like as it would on State of Maine. Well, <laughs> they ain't dropped me off at the landing. You know, I was like, don't, don't call Allison. You know, if you call Allison, I'll get in trouble. And sure enough, he called Allison, so I got in trouble. You know, we missed lunch, apparently. There was no lunch traffic. He's just sitting there. There's no one there. No one's seeing the sign. No one's getting their little uh, promotion. We'll come in and get the strawberry. So, bad idea. So I'm not and, sure why Danes took it upon himself to switch it up, but he did. Not the best decision. So, thank goodness Damien had the wherewithal to call us and get it fixed. Are you looking for a fun night out on the town? 
come visit Jacksonville's very own Hamburger Mary's, a genuine good time where you can be yourself and enjoy a spectacular show with great food and fantastic drinks. Hamburger Mary's, are you looking for a fun night out on the town? Well, come visit us at Jacksonville's very own Hamburger Mary's, a genuine good time where you can be yourself and enjoy a spectacular show with great food and drinks. Hamburger Mary's, eat, drink, and be merry. During the uh, uh, holiday season or during the, the peak seasons, uh, we work very long hours and we uh, hardly ever stop what we're doing. And it's not because we don't want to, it's just that you, it's, we're just so busy, there's so many things going on and you really lose perception of time. Hours can go by and it seems like five minutes just because you're so busy and pulled in so many different directions and it's easy to forget to eat. So it's important to have food on hand and, and it, that's one thing that keeps everybody going and everybody happy. And I did not have my smoothie this morning. I didn't have my coffee this morning. I've had a smoothie, a tea, a hot dog from 7-Eleven, a Dayquil, a vitamin, a coconut water. Okay, but I'm tripping with the hot dog from 7-Eleven early in the morning. Because I just feel like I need to get something in my stomach. Hey, Alice, I'm starting to get really nervous. Um, Have you guys all had staples of the caramel? Yeah, she, she just okay, ignored perfect. me. Okay, um, food well, is coming, Dave. I know what you. I know where you're getting at. <laughs> it's, it's a it's situation where even when I when I don't eat. Or... So at holidays, we're busy. People don't have time to take breaks, so um, we just feed them. We get lots of food in, make sure everybody's fed, happy. Full workers work better. Um, we love our neighborhood restaurants, Uptown Market, Burrito Gallery, they're some of our favorites. The employees love it. We get to support the neighborhood. It's great food, it stays with us. So it's fun. It's a fun part of the holidays. Hey, hey how are you? Burrito. Good, 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 good to see you. We are so hungry. Great, great, great. I got some great selections from the Uptown Market. Uh, see, you guys are so busy here. Yeah, it's crazy. We're yeah. Dipping berries all day, so we are ready for some Uptown. Good, 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 good. I got some great food for the crew and for all you guys. So let me get that out of the uh, car, and uh, we can get set up and started and get some, some good Perfect. I'll food. let Pete know. Thank, okay, you. thank you. Hey, Dane, how are you? Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Not much, oh, man. Oh my goodness! We what got did some, you bring from Uptown? We got some food from. We got some nice salads, and we got some sandwiches to feed you guys and the crew. So we're gonna put it all together, and uh, we'll just have a feast. You, you know, I was reserving that table for shipping, but now, I now think it's for the take Uptown take Market. Uh, yes. Yeah. Right? I dare you to tell Sweet Tea you can't. He can't eat yet because of shipping. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm How's good. it going? Good. How's so, it? How's everything going today? Everything is going good. It looks like you guys are very busy wow. here today. Yes, uh, it looks delicious. What, what have you guys uh, smell? Awesome. Well, we got some um, nice salads. We got some Greek salad. We got a salmon salad. Uh, some some of our regular sandwiches. Yeah. Roast beef and uh, also some turkey. So um, uh, I can't wait. It's great. We, we are, you know, uh, pulling candy makes you hungry, doesn't it, man? Have you ever seen him pull candy before? <laughs> I haven't seen him, but I have seen, you know, pull candy down so before. Yeah, so, yeah, so it work. Yes, it is a lot, a lot of work. work. You know, we're yes. so, we're, we're, thanks for coming down, because like, you guys are one of our favorites here. But it's always a nice little break when you can, when, when somebody delivers food that you really like and you're, and you're excited about seeing. It makes it's even better seeing it under those circumstances than than when you're um, you know going out to eat because it's like uh, it's, it, when you're surrounded by candy all day and there's really nothing to eat other than sweets uh, that when I mean, you see a real piece of food and it's something you really want it's a great feeling. Oh whoa! And uh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we got well, we got some food here from the Open Market. It's a beautiful roast beef sandwich. Uh, that's probably Dane's favorite. Well, Dane is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of beef, yes. Um, it, it is. We're excited, it looks delicious. So we can't thank you enough. We are so tired and this is gonna be so great. Well, awesome, well let me, uh, come on down, let me give you some sweets to take back to your staff. Great, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, nice meeting you. Thank you, Dane. Eddie, I know you guys like things 
fresh, so we're going to get some of our fresh oh, dipped awesome. strawberries. Thank just you very this much. Morning. Great. All right. Well, you appreciate it, you guys, you. and thank you very much thank for inviting you. us. Thank you. Thank you guys had a good time. Thank, we'll thank you. you. Thank you. Do you owe thousands in IRS back taxes? Are you worried that the IRS will seize your bank account, possibly even your paycheck? Tax Defense Network can help. We're an A-plus rated Jacksonville-based tax resolution company with over 35 years experience in IRS negotiations. Don't face the IRS alone. Call 866-FIGHT-90 today. We've resolved over $93 million of small business and individual tax debt. Let our attorneys fight for you too. Call 866-344-4890 for a free consultation. Allison, y'all forgot to pick me up again. Yeah. I've been waiting out here for like an hour already. All right, well, I'll be over there. I'm walking to walk back. Okay. All right, y'all busy. I got it. All right, bye. Forget to pick Damien up every day. Um, we always say we're going to do it. We always say we'll never do it again. And we did it again. Damn it. He's walked back in the rain. Oh, Damien, that's not good for Damien. Well, Somebody's gotta go get him. Had to seek shelter somewhere. <laughs> okay, Damien, I told him to call that we would forget and not notice it was raining. I know, right? But he can wrap Caramel or work here, so there's no reason to have him out there. I told you not to bring him out to that. No, he did a good job. Well, anyway, can you just go get him? Yeah. So, um, there were some instances during that week where it was some foul weather, and we, we actually did come and get him, but, we, that's almost never happened. Um, it happened to be like a really bad storm that week, and it was the trees were blowing around, and stuff was flying, every rain everywhere, and thunder and lightning. And then we, that that was when we decided that maybe we should go ahead and get him. wasn't a good idea to leave him out there. I mean, I'm sure he's under a he's awning or something. Poor Damien. Like the forgotten kid out there. He's probably still so dancing too. He's probably just he like, probably is soaking wet. And all, the red heart is all. <laughs> Where is he on state and union? I mean on yeah. state. I mean uh, union in Maine or whatever it is, state in Maine. He comes right by the Seven Eleven. You know where he goes. It's not. Is it? Damien. Oh man, oh, you we got forgot caught. about you. We're so worried about Damien. We forgot right. you were on. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need a um, sweet pea scooter or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, brother, for how we're in the beginning, uh, we would really make a conscious effort of driving and picking up Damien and bringing him back. But um, on a regular basis, we would forget, and then um, poor Damien would be left out there and have to walk back. So um, in the last season or two, he's just sort of said, don't bother. I would rather know I'm walking back than think I'm going to get a ride and have to walk back. So now the new policy is, you know, he's still getting paid during his walk, but he's just walking back rather than waiting on us. So I'm not sure how that's working on his end. On our end, it's it's good. A little less stressful. Speaking um, of fun, what happened with Damien this morning? Danger. Danger. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. He called. I don't know. What did he call about? He called and said that somebody told him to go to the landing and it was like nothing going on there. I told him, whatever you do, do uh -huh. not, um, okay. if anything does not go according to expert, do not, not to, to not call you actually.
got the longest to do. taffy ever. All right, I ain't changing my gloves no more. I'm ready. Mm. Is Dee allowed to use the gloves out of that white box? Yes, that's not the point. They just wanted a, that special box up front. It's not it had nothing to do with who can use them. Yeah, Allison, dang. See? See? <laughs> see? see? Yeah. Allison, we can really put you out of the kitchen. <laughs> he and I have worked together for a, a you know, good amount of years. Um, in the past, we weren't on top of each other in the same building. Here, it's a small place. We are on top of each other. Um, there are parts we love about working together, um, and this is our shared vision, and we're passionate about it, so that's fun. Uh, the day-to-day, -day, um, I'm sure it gets really awkward and uncomfortable for many of our employees when, you know, we get into a bickering fight about chocolate or pecans or whatever it happens to be that day, and our poor employees have to just sit there awkwardly, not knowing what to do. All right, Pete. Uh, I think I should toast this first and then switch to white. That's what I think I should do. How many pans of caramel do we have? To wrap? Because I can temper, and I can dip, I can do berries, which leaves you to do caramel and turtles and things. I'm just toasting coconut, then I'll be done. Right, but you need to make turtles, so should I do berries? I mean, it could set us back, that's the only thing. Well, it could set us back. No, I don't understand what you're saying. What could set us back? I can't do everything at the same time. If I take my focus off of that, then this will start burning. And I, I can't do everything all the time at the same time. There's a lot of tension sometimes between the two of us when we get busy. And especially when we're working in the same space. And it, there's certain things that she does that drive me crazy. And she'll, she'll want to jump in, do something, but then it never gets done. It's left in a, somewhere in the mid process. It's not complete and then somebody else, so then it, it causes everything else to shut down. And so she, I think she's racing uh, 200 miles an hour, going very fast. And she's here, she's there, she's everywhere. And everything's in a lot, and I know in her mind, and most of the time she's probably right, she's getting a lot of things done, but when she comes back in the kitchen, it just shuts everything down. Uh, and it drives me, it, it drives me crazy sometimes. And that's where a lot of the tension that the two of us have comes from. I'm sorry, I'm in a, it's just a bad, I gotta get, when I'm done with this, I'll, I'll find, if you wanna put chocolate and temper it in a bowl and give it to for um, um, Taylor to do, you could do that but I just need to not have it left. So it's, because we need to get stuff done. Well, to since you and I are gonna get in a fight, why don't, I'll put it in the bowl and you communicate with Taylor about what you want. We know, as most couples do, how to prevent fights. We know that to stay sort of in our own lanes and not, you know, touch each other's buttons. Um, and we strive to always do that. It's hard for me to stay in my own lane, but I strive. <laughs> Yeah. I thought we were talking about nice things. Anyway, you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to be. I am? Yeah, you're not. Trying to be nice. nice. He's already threatened to kick me out of the kitchen. He's trying to be nice. If I sent you up. Well, if I sent you up front, I bet you Chris would send you back here. <laughs> I bet he would too. I'm turning it around. Chris, I'm going to have a good attitude today. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, what did you do for Valentine's Day with John? Um, probably nothing. Yeah. We don't celebrate. Chomp chomp. <laughs> it's really, woo! It's real high end. <laughs> <laughs> Check me out. I, I took you to Huddle House because, first of all, that doesn't tell the whole. That, that, it's just such a good thing to say because that's where we happen to go for breakfast. But I, we did not go there for your Mother's Day. We it was Mother's Day. You went to Captain and we ate at Huddle House. That's what and he took me. You went to Captain Beast uh, for Mother's Day. I'm just saying one of these days we might step it up a notch. What about you? When you should really? step it up a notch. <laughs> and sometimes it isn't that sweet. <laughs>
But in the case of a turtle, we uh, take fresh roasted salted pecans, and it makes a difference when you roast them and salt them yourself. They taste better that way, they're crispier. Then we deposit by hand caramel on top of the pecans. Then, then after they've cooled, we coat them in either milk or dark chocolate. This is one of the most popular things we sell next to the sea salt caramel because they are, they're very good and we have people coming back sometimes multiple times a week for them.